Nobody tell me the answers Me and you isn't the answer Me and you isn't Baby, I'm telling myself that But there ain't nothing that'll change that Hey girl, welcome back to another video. My name is Kafu. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today is Friday. It's Friday afternoon. The time is 4.41 and my weekend just started. But girl, of course something is always happening to me because it's just what it is at this point. I have quite a bit of errands. Well, not too many. I have a couple things that I need to do and that I really want to do. One of those things is to return. Let me show you what it is. I need to go to Walmart to return this knit sweater that I got from them. I thought it was super cute at the time that I got it. This is it right here, right? From a distance, it's actually kind of given. But for real, for real, it, mm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to give it back and get my money back. Then I need to return some sunscreen that I got from Target. Remember when the black girl sunscreen first came out and everybody was like, oh my gosh, the black girl sunscreen, you must try, you must try it. So I said, all right, let me try it. It's years later at this point probably, but I ended up getting the black girl sunscreen make it hybrid, the mineral combo in SPF 50. And the reason why I got this one is because I like using sunscreen lotion because I feel like it just applies better and it makes your skin more dewy and it goes goes on exactly like lotion. Right now I have my super goop sunscreen on and you see how it kind of just gives me that glow. It just kind of makes my skin look super dewy and glowy. So that's why I like using the lotion. The problem with this one is it was giving me a white cast and I should have known because it's literally a mineral combination sunscreen. I was comparing the active ingredients in here to the ones in my super goop sunscreen and it's the exact same thing. But for some reason, this one gives me a white cast and the other one does it. So is it black girl friendly? No, I would not say that it is. So that's thing number two that I need to do. The other thing that I need to do is address this situation that is happening to me. Let's back it up a little bit. Let me give you the rundown. Lately, I've been looking into the Sony ZV-E10 camera because I've been wanting to upgrade my vlog quality. After all the research that I've done, I decided, okay, I think this is the one for me. I'm gonna get it. And it came. It came. It's sitting right here. This is the camera. It came in the mail today. I unboxed it and everything. And I set it up and started kind of testing it out to see what it would look like. Of course, there will always be a problem because Kafui's life is not Kafui's life without a problem. The problem is that it just does not look good. The image quality is not giving what this is giving. I thought because I was going from my Sony ZV-1 to the Sony ZV-E10, which is supposed to be the big brother, the upgrade from the ZV-1, I thought the quality is going to be better, which in other people's vlogs, other creators that I watch who use this camera, their quality is immaculate but of course for me it wouldn't be so i'm gonna take a trip to best buy to try to figure out what the f is going on it just makes my skin look so dull if i can insert a video comparison then i will so that you can see what i'm talking about it's completely different the quality is good i can see that it's less cropped in but my skin just doesn't it looks so dull like it's not vibrant all right this is me recording on both cameras holding them at the same exact distance and what you can see is that the one on the left is less cropped in than the one on the right. You can kind of see the color differences between these two cameras. The Sony ZV-1 looks more like my actual skin tone. It's more vibrant, it's more yellow, and I like that because that's what I actually look like. This one makes me look more dull. Just, you know, do you, do you kind of see what I'm talking about? Do you see it a little? The first stop is of course Best Buy, and it has to be Best Buy because I care a lot about my camera. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna get this whole thing situated as fast as I possibly can. I don't wanna 
wait I don't want to drag it out the only thing that I'm afraid of the roll for roll is that I'm gonna go and they're gonna be like hey geek squad can't do anything to help you right now or they're gonna be like oh you have to make an appointment because we're so busy right now and we're understaffed you know i get all of that but my camera is not working I, I don't know i just hope that it's a successful best buy trip because otherwise it... because i don't understand how one person's quality who is using the same exact camera as another person can be so different from somebody else's quality and it's really bothering me because this camera was not cheap you know like it was not cheap about the sunscreen the black girl sunscreen if you have any sunscreen recommendations for me please let me know i really want to invest in a sunscreen that is not as expensive as the super goop sunscreen that sunscreen is like 30 dollars for the mini even i think and then the bigger version is like 60. so if you have any affordable sunscreens that don't give you a white cast that don't necessarily make your skin sting because for me because i'm going through a treatment process right now with my dermatologist my skin is just going through it i'm using tretinoin and if you don't know i feel like i've been talking about it a lot my tretinoin journey I've been been on tretinoin for a while now and it's just making my skin peel like a freaking snake a reptile i don't know and my boyfriend even was called me homo chameleon and that's what i knew and no one baby i appreciate you for all the work that you do because i can see my skin does look pretty good but what you do to my skin how you do it is not necessarily necessary you'll be in public and your face will just be peeling so i just spoke to one of the guys at the front when i as soon as i walked in they were like hey what's up so i just started explaining everything to them and they were like yeah i see what you're talking about and that makes me feel better because i know i'm not losing it like I, they see it too luckily they have a camera specialist sony specialist in today who can look at what i'm doing he says that it may be setting related which makes me really happy because that's what i was hoping it would be so hopefully when the sony specialist is able to talk to me we can figure this out but i'm just gonna wait he put my name in the queue so i'm just gonna hang around here it's gonna be a 10 or 15 minute wait so i'll just be here just kind of look like i'm not talking to myself even though i really am but girl it's us it's us so i'm not really alone <laughs> I'm back in the car i literally just walked out of target and best buy the news from best buy is that the way that he explained it was that it's probably nothing to do with the camera itself or something being wrong with the lens or whatever the case may be as soon as i showed him too he was like yeah i see exactly what you're talking about but he was like honestly the zve 10 comes with its own screen that makes it look some type of way it has a different sensor that is different from the zv1 and it it has a different lens so it could be a combination of three things possibly and so he was like he doesn't even know what's wrong both cameras are on intelligent auto which if you have a sony then you probably know what that is it's basically where your camera is just set to auto settings and you don't have to manually set anything up in your camera so both of them are set up that way but for some reason the display is so different between the two of them what he ended up recommending me to do was to take both of the footage from this Z from the zv1 and from the zve 10 and just put them on a screen on my computer side by side to see how they look because he was like they probably look the exact same but your eyes won't be able to see that because the screen on the zve 10 is different i'm gonna try that because i'm really hoping that nothing is wrong with the camera because i literally just got it today now that i've updated you on that it's time for me oh my gosh i forgot the whole sweater remember the the cardigan that i showed you i forgot the cardigan at home so now i have to drive all the way home go back out to walmart to return it of course these are the things that happen to me in a day like i promise you i do not make it up like i cannot make this shit up you're you're seeing it happen to me so i guess what we're gonna do now is go home
your food. Why? Because I love that for me. I love getting my money back. I just love that. Whenever I make a return and they're like, it'll be X amount of money back on your car. I'm like, thank you. I'm back home. And the rest of the night, honestly, it's Friday night tonight. And the rest of the night is just going to look like me chilling by myself and spending some time alone. Lately, I've been wanting to watch Dune. I don't know if you've heard about that, but part two of it just came out in theaters and I've been hearing so many good things about it. The main reason why I want to watch it though is because Timothy Chalamet is in it and boy can he act here. Yeah. That man, oh he can act. He can't act. Not only that, but he has the most like youthful looking face. I feel like he has a fresh looking face and it, his face is cut, you know? Like, it's like, and I love that for me. The first film that I ever, well, I love that for him. <laughs> The first film that I ever watched by him was The King. Definitely check that out. It was so dramatic, but it was so good. He is such a good actor. I loved him in that film. That was my introduction to Timothy Chalamet, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Kylie, because before all of that between them, I didn't know a thing about this man. But now I do, so thank you, Kylie. Thank you, girl. Good morning. Today is a Saturday, the exciting day that I was talking about. Today I'm going to the art museum with my coworker friends. That's why I call them my coworker friends. We're supposed to be there at 12. The time is 1051. I have not even done my makeup. I need to do my makeup. I need to get dressed. Luckily, I have an idea of what I want to wear. But the problem with me sometimes is that I end up having a bunch of outfit changes. You know, girls. The girls that get it, get it. You know, and I feel like all girls get that. I need to get started on my makeup. I'm going to try not to do too much. I'm going to try to do just enough. Because you know me like that. You know? I have my whole makeup kit right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started i wanted to start the vlog way sooner when i was doing my morning routine and all of that but i was like girl i need to go i need to go honey one thing that i've been really working on is being on time to places no one has called me out personally i'm embarrassed about it as much as i don't like people being late people being tardy and all that stuff i be showing up late as hell that's just not cool like it's not cool past a certain point it's like okay nigga like you be late as shit i'm not talking about being five ten minutes late i'm talking about i'm 20 25 minutes late it is disrespectful to the people who got there on time and they're probably waiting on you so i'm trying to be as quick as i can i recognize that i do take a long time to get ready but the sleep was too good so i was in bed twiddling and daddling girl just kind of rolling over it be on the days that you need to wake up early and do stuff be on time to places that the sleep be suspiciously good mysteriously good i'm a lot huh out of all the days today is literally not the day for me to be sleeping good i have not mastered the no makeup makeup look or the five minute even 10 minute makeup look so i'm just gonna do the best that i can another thing that i know like when it comes to me i will not leave the house unless i feel 100 percent confident in how i look that is literally my toxic trait. I could be seeing the time pass. I could be late as hell. And I will just continue to be late as hell because if I don't look good, you don't need to see me. <laughs> okay. I need not to be confessing these things on camera because if I end up being late today, I hope that none of them see this video because then they're gonna know why I be so late all the time. Today is also a really gloomy day. I don't know. Yesterday was such perfect weather. It was sunny all day. It was warm. The weather here has been getting so good that I'm excited for the summer, honey. Sorry, the winter. Let me not get too ahead of myself, okay? Clearly, I'm excited for summer. Well, spring is actually my favorite season because that's my birthday season, period. I love the spring, and I just feel like it's perfect weather. It's the opposite of fall, but it gets so, so warm, which I love. And it's sunny, it's beautiful, it's green, the flowers, the trees come alive. It's just a whole rebirth, and I love that for nature, and I love that for me. My birthday is coming up in a few months. Months. Though I'm excited for my birthday, I'm also 
so anxious about it because I feel like there's pressure. There is so much pressure to, you know, celebrate. Not only celebrate, but to celebrate intensely. Going on trips, having this lavish birthday bash thing. So birthdays give me so much anxiety sometimes because I feel like everybody's expecting you to do something crazy, big, and just over the top. Like, people are expecting you to do stuff like that. In my whole life, I've never had a birthday party. I've never thrown a birthday party. I've never gone on a birthday trip. A birthday trip that was for me. I've gone on other people's birthday trips, but I've never gone on a birthday trip that's mainly just me. I also get nervous when it comes to being the center of attention. Believe it or not, I'm a little shy. Your world's a little shy. So when it comes to me being on the spot and you know me being the person that everybody's kind of focused on and thinking about, I'm just like, oh my gosh. So yeah, for my upcoming birthday, I have absolutely nothing planned. As someone who loves taking their time when they do stuff, I also don't wake up early or start things early enough to actually have enough time to take my time. Like, I be waking up late expecting to have enough time to do the things. And then I end up being mad that I'm rushing because I also don't like rushing. It's like, girl, pick a struggle, honey. Like, how that gonna work? You can't have your cake and eat it too. You feel me? The part I was given, I wanna have my cake and eat all of it. That's really what it's given. They're a statement piece. They're really dramatic, they're big, they're huge. And I feel like I need something a little bit more dainty. I kind of like how this looks too. I'm running a little late. The others are running a little late too, which is amazing. I love that for me. I like how this looks. I feel like this, this it's giving. So I'm, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. Something about the turtleneck, I'm glad that I got this last minute because I was like oh my gosh what exactly am I going to wear I had no clue and I was like wait a turtleneck would kind of be nice the only thing that I need to do is lint roll there are a good amount of lint on the turtleneck you know because it's black and everything so it's going to show so I just need to lint roll really quickly I don't know if you can see me clearly at all but I'm really trying to get the final look I just wanted to show you what we're working with in the end so here we go I have this turtleneck from Pume I'll link it down below if anybody's interested I'm wearing these light wash jeans I got them from Old Navy they're literally my favorite and then I'm wearing my Sambas, my Adidas Sambas. For jewelry, I decided to go with my Bottega Zoops and these are my rings, Cartier Zoop, because girl, I got this from Shein Girl. Mm -hmm. Then this is from Movement. Because it's still chilly outside, I'm gonna pair it with my cardigan. I have two of them. I have an all gray one and I have this kind of checkered one and I feel like this kind of goes with it more. I feel like this goes 
way more. I need to leave the house ASAP, no Rocky. They ended up pushing the time back 30 minutes. It worked out in my favor. And so for that reason, I need to not be late. This is the handbag that I'm carrying with me. There's so much in here. You never know what you're gonna need or anything like that. art when I was a lot younger probably like high school days I used to study this stuff I love me some art just being in a place where I'm surrounded by so much of it inspires me I hope that this inspires you too and it challenges you to continue to explore the creative side of your brain be creative and I know that I can't get caught up We just made it out of the museum. It was nice in there. It was really good in there. I enjoyed it even more so. It was a lovely time spending time with my coworkers outside of work. It was fun hanging out with them. It was just such, such a good time. What we're gonna do now is get some food, honey, because the girls are hungry, okay? The girls are hungry. So we're about to go out and get some food. I haven't eaten anything all day, so I'm ready to get some food in my system, girl. Let's hit the road. <laughs> Got me all up in my feels in no kind of ways. Being a vlogger is so strange because it's still just something that people are not used to and I completely get it because it's strange, it's weird. But the way I be trying to get that content be having me looking so sus. Sometimes you kind of have to sneak the footage. You just have to kind of be very, very creative. I'll say creative. You have to be creative with capturing the content and sometimes it just looks like you're up to no good. And I feel like I usually look like I'm not up to no good all the time. Awkward. 
It was awkward. I don't have a tripod, y'all. So I'm like, this is the life that a broke folk lives. <laughs> <laughs> that concludes her vlog. So where is it going? Where can we watch this? Oh. What? Where can we watch the concert? On WhatsApp. <laughs> oh! oh Subscribe to my yeah, WhatsApp. So listen, 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 I forgot that. quite a long Sunday to be honest. I've been up for a while. Once again, we are on the move. When are we not on the move? I considered ending the vlog yesterday, but then I felt like the vlog would be a little too short. So I thought I would extend it a little bit to today. Right now I'm just on the way to go grocery shopping. I kind of had a late start to my day. Last night I went to sleep really, really late. Not even last night, really this morning because I went to sleep at four o'clock in the morning yeah i'm feeling a little tired a little behind especially because we had daylight savings it's just weird today is also another gloomy day it's snowing outside it makes it hard to get up and be productive people really underestimate the power of the sun i woke up at noon i didn't realize i was asleep for that late i woke up made my breakfast slash lunch brunch right when i was like okay you know i'm I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna head out immediately to seize the day. Guess what? I fell asleep again. I fell asleep again. So now here I am at almost six o'clock just really actually getting started with my day. I shouldn't be spending too much time in a grocery store anyway. I don't have too much to shop for. I thought we were so done with this but here we are. It's snowing again. It's windy. I'm gonna try not to complain. Hopefully tomorrow or during the week the weather clears fully up um, why was she looking at my license plate like that funny not funny haha -ha. funny weird Finally back home. The battle that I was facing out there is crazy to me. It's beyond me now. I'm just glad that I made it back in one piece. It's time for a grocery haul. This time around when I went grocery shopping, I was really trying to prioritize high protein. So I got a lot of protein and not just any type of protein. When I watch You Are What You Eat on Netflix, my whole idea of meat, the meat industry, animal-based protein just kind of changed. I did get some shrimp, some raw shrimp. I got it peeled, deveined with the tail off because I just didn't want to do all of that. I like to get in the kitchen and get out. I don't want to be in the kitchen for hours cooking and all of that. So if I can get food that has already been prepped as much as it can be to make it easier for me, then that's what I'm going to do. Next, we've got tilapia tilapia is my favorite fish i just really like how it tastes i like how easy it is to cook in under like 15 minutes especially with my air fryer so i love having tilapia around liquid egg whites i like liquid egg whites because they are a more low calorie option for me the most calorie dense part of an egg is the yolk i don't know like egg whites are just for me like a pure egg and i can eat a lot of it and be full without consuming a ton of calories. If you haven't already kind of noticed a pattern, I like to get the most out of my meals without giving up or sacrificing the most amount of calories. And I'll explain later why it is that I'm doing that so that it can make a little bit more sense. Next, I got some actual eggs. I got cage-free brown eggs, vegetarian-fed eggs. Even eggs, like if you see the way that egg 
eggs are raised in the chicken coop and all of that on you are what you eat it, it's crazy it's really crazy so i was really not trying to get eggs but eggs are an easy source of protein you can just boil them fry them all those things and have something to eat pretty quickly but even when they tell you that the chickens have been farm raised cage free it's not really cage free the amount of space that they have compared to the non cage free chickens is not that much more they're still all huddled together in the chicken coop on top of each other laying eggs it's not necessarily the most sanitary condition so you can't always trust what the labels are saying what the marketing is saying i just decided to get these ones because i felt like out of the options that i had they were just the best that i could have selected moving on i got these plant-based italian sausages they're vegan so that's really good the other thing though is that they are high in fat as sausages usually are one sausage link is 240 calories but you do get 24 grams of protein which is a lot then i just got some bell peppers not too much to be said about these i got some guacamole i love avocados yeah especially with my shrimp bowl tonight it's gonna be amazing then i got some beauty stuff which is not necessarily grocery related i got a new mascara this is the l'oreal telescopic in black is black then i got these two hair products i got the ors deep cleansing creamy aloe shampoo and the moisturizing hair lotion my hair is so greasy right now it just needs a good wash this can be used as a clarifying shampoo and that's really what i need right now my scalp needs a reset so I just need something like this to wash it to cleanse it and to basically reset it so that my scalp is fresh it smells good and all of those dirt oils dead skin can be lifted I just got this because I want something to apply to my hair like whenever I'm done washing it I want a hydrating lotion kind of product to put in my hair that way my hair isn't dry and it's not lacking for hydration and doesn't break off that's everything that I got to now get into the reason why my grocery groceries are looking the way that they do why I keep talking about calories and all of that stuff I am trying to get back on keto I don't really want to say keto because I just remember that being a hard time in my life especially as a carb lover keto is hard but I also recognize that I need to shred some pounds because I've been big in my back I have I'm not gonna even sit here and act like my back is not big like if you take the measure tape and you measure my back it's ginormous all jokes aside I have put on an unhealthy amount of weight especially for my frame because I'm more of a petite person I'm only five feet tall any amount of weight that I guess isn't necessarily supposed to be on my body or is healthy shows especially when it's fat I've gained over 10 pounds and it's obvious like my face is rounder you know all the things I, I may or may not have a trip coming up so your girl just wants to look good and most of all i just want to prioritize my health that's why you will kind of notice that there's a huge emphasis on protein if you're not familiar with the keto diet it's basically when you're eating little to no carbs and you're mainly focusing on your protein and your fat the reason why i'm focusing more on protein is because protein is one of those macros that help you feel fuller for longer so when you're eating protein you're less likely to snack because you're not feeling hungry that's the reason why and then all of that just to help me kind of stay within my calorie range so that I'm not going over and then undoing all the work that I think that I'm doing and instead of losing weight instead of gaining weight and so yeah that's basically where I am I'm